everyone, it's Heather Klug, the registered dietitian from the Karen Yance Women's Cardiac Awareness Center. Thanks for joining me today for another cooking video as part of our summer produce series. So today I'm gonna to be making something called broccoli cauliflower salad. So this is a great thing to make if you're looking for a way to get your family to eat more broccoli or cauliflower or it's a great dish to take to like a potluck or a get together. In fact, I took this to one last week. Um, if you are gonna take this to um, like a big get together, I'd recommend you maybe double the recipe. Now don't forget to check out the recipe down below for more details. All right, this recipe is pretty easy to make, which is great, and you can do a lot of it ahead of time. So what you're gonna do is buy a head of broccoli and a head of cauliflower. I ended up using maybe about half uh, to almost two thirds of each of the heads of those. And you're gonna cut off the flowerettes for each. If you wanna save yourself some time in the produce section, you can also buy the bagged cauliflower and broccoli where they've already done that step for you. Now what I also like to do, especially if you're serving this to kids, I like to cut the flowerettes even into kind of more bite-sized pieces. It makes it a little bit uh, more tolerable for people to eat. And then you're gonna cut up a little bit of a red onion. This is about half of a small red onion. And then we're gonna add a few tablespoons of sunflower seeds. If you don't have those on hand, you can use pumpkin seeds if you'd rather use that. And then you're gonna add about a half a cup of shredded cheese. All right, and then the last step here is we're gonna make the dressing to go with this. So what I would recommend is you do this step ahead of time and then right before you're gonna serve it, this is where you're gonna make the dressing, although you could make that ahead of time too and just kind of um, put that in a little storage container or maybe a mason jar. So in this recipe, we're gonna use about a half a cup of mayonnaise. And I believe I use the olive oil kind of mayonnaise. And then we're gonna use a half a cup of plain Greek yogurt, which has zero fat in it. You don't even need the fat in here because it's so nice and thick. It's gonna take the place of some of the fat because a lot of recipes like to use a whole cup of mayo. So here we're knocking that in half, replacing some of that with the plain Greek yogurt. Not to mention we're gonna get a little more protein out of this as well. And then we're gonna add to this um, a little bit of sugar. So I have two tablespoons of sugar and then two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. You can use regular if you want. I think the apple cider vinegar just gives it a little bit more of a mild taste. And then we're gonna stir all this together. And I know it doesn't look too appetizing right away, okay? Looks like I spilled a little bit of a too. That happens in the kitchen sometimes. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch over to this spoon and we're gonna stir that up a little bit better. Have a little bit more control with the spoon. All right, so now you can see it's kind of getting a little bit thicker and nice and creamy looking. That's what you want. So I'm just gonna keep stirring. This may take about a minute or two when you make it at home. But as you can see, real easy to put together. And then all you do right before you're gonna serve it is you're gonna add it right on top to the broccoli and the cauliflower mixture. So I'm gonna get as much of that in there as I can. So this mixture has a little bit of like tartness, a little bit of sweetness, and then you get a little bit of the salty from the cheese as well. So you get a really nice kind of flavor profile from this. And then we're gonna mix it all together. Again, there's a lot of different flavors and textures in this recipe, which makes it really appealing to people. All right, and that's it, everybody. So let me show you what that looks like. So see, so simple and easy to make. So here we have a broccoli cauliflower salad, something you can make for your family or take to a get together. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Don't forget to uh, click on the subscribe button down below and check out that recipe in the show notes. Thanks for watching. Bye.